Hi Leo, it's been a minute. I hope everybody is doing good. All right, getting into your reading, peek at your person. Um, changes to the uploading schedule are posted in the description box below, so check that out. All right, getting into it, we're starting off with the overall energy. Balance, victory and success, and positive movement forward. I feel like things were smooth sailing, flowing, in balance, everything was going good. And then all of a sudden, boom, mental conflict, heartache and loss, trapped in fear. So it could be vice versa, but I feel like it was something that was going really well. And then all of a sudden came to some kind of abrupt end or confusing end and not knowing which way to go. Um, angel numbers I'm seeing are 3-3 three, three, and 11. So let's get into it. Peek at your person. Leo, stick around till the end or go, jump ahead to the timestamp of who is coming towards you for new love. All right, that'll be down below too in the description box. Keep in mind, Leo, it is a general reading. <clears throat> so when I say your person's energy, it can be flip-flopped and reversed. Same to you, cross watcher. So don't force anything to fit and flip-flop the energies if you feel like you need to. All right, um, going from leveling up, commitment, house, home, celebrating, things are good to single and not knowing why. <laughs> so did you walk away from this person? You could have been like, nope, I'm I'm good. I'm all done. Something went wrong. Let's see if we can dig in and get to the bottom of it. Yeah, someone went cold. Somebody went cold. Cut off, emotionless. Could This person could have did that to you. you know, we're still digging. We're still at the beginning. Um, could have been an age difference or the chemistry just wasn't there. Somebody just felt like the chemistry wasn't there. A lot of work. Somebody could have put felt like they had to put in a lot of work and effort. This is your person's energy, but it could be yours. I'm kind of feeling like it might be yours. For some reason, I'm getting like a reversed energy, but whatever. I'm just going to go with it as your person's. Um, I have an apology, romantic love offer, gesture. They could be trying to put in work and effort. If you walked away from them, that could be what this is. You walked away from them. You didn't feel the chemistry. And now they're like, oh, I want to put in work and effort. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You feel that way. I can do better. <laughs> they're going maybe with ego and you're going with intuition. Yeah, I feel like you're holding back. Let's see what happened. What went wrong? What interfered? King of Swords. So I have a lot of air energy coming through. So I have Libra and Aquarius. Gemini could be here. Pisces. I now have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, victory and success and ignoring. Was there somebody giving somebody else attention? Like this person wasn't giving you what you needed? I, I don't know. Something with the chemistry being off. It wasn't really manifesting into anything. You could have felt like this might have been a dead end connection. I'm hearing that song by Dirty Vegas. Days go by and still I think of you and look what just flipped over. <laughs> I feel like they're really in their head thinking about you. What did I do wrong? What could I have done better? Why did Leo walk away from me? Now I'm back to single. Did Leo just play me? Was I being juggled? They're kind of looking at you like a player. So again, it can be flip-flopped and reversed. I'm just telling you from what they're kind of where they're at you know um you could have picked up on player vibes and you were like nope i'm not even going to entertain this because i'm not dealing with that so you could have put walls up guard up blocked off you maybe you felt like you were being juggled um but let's see how does this person feel about you leo i feel like they're really thinking about you though see they don't feel like you're you're a player so that could have been you thinking that they were kind of just here for one reason and one reason only but backstab betrayal painful ending empress the lovers it's how they feel about you two of cups they feel like you are being see so maybe that was supposed to be upright sneaky Or you're sneaking off. This this is their perspective. It doesn't necessarily mean the truth. It's their truth, right? So maybe at first it was like, I don't think Leo's a player. 
I'm going to put in work and effort, but Leo seems to be holding back. So now it's ended and now I'm feeling hurt. Now you guys want to see cards. I'm trying to make it so you can see them. Um, I see Leo as an empress, loving, caring, nurturing energy. I feel that lover's connection, that soulmate bond, very strong. This person felt a very strong connection, but then feels like maybe you were sneaking away towards like maybe like a, a past commitment or another commitment you just left. Or maybe feels like you're not ready for a relationship. They feel a very strong bond with you, Leo. Oh, this energy is a little, a little crazy. The star, you're their wish fulfillment. They want a new beginning or a do-over. But you may have blocked them. They could have a little bit of, like, obsession with you. There's toxic traits. That could have also been red flags. They want to move things forward. You may have blocked them. But they want a new beginning. They want a do-over. So let's see. What are this person's action steps? What is this person's intentions and action steps towards you? <sighs> They're going to try and come across as a king of pentacles. Like stable and confident and grounded to move things forward. I'm just going to throw this out there. I don't know why this message just came in, but they could be doing like little drive-bys by your house to see if you have somebody over or what you're up to or by your work or something like that. They could be. I don't know. I have the chariot. <laughs> and that message for some reason popped into my head. Um, they, I feel like they don't have the closure. Maybe you just said, no, this isn't going to work. I'm just not feeling it. And then you just blocked them. They're chasing you. <laughs> Never going to give you up. Um, I feel like they want to kind of chase you. You gave them a little taste of Leo and now they want more. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> Excuse me. They want more. They saw long term. Look, they have 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles. They saw long term with you. Maybe it was a little too much. Maybe it was overbearing and you were just kind of like, this is, this is too much. Like, I still want my independence. I still want to go and do what I want to do. You know? Let's see. What is Leo going to do? Keep in mind, it's a general reading. You have free will. Some of you might. Some of you might not um, do what the potential outcome is. You're focusing on money, work, stability, finances. You, you want that to a cups connection. You want that equal exchange of love. You don't want unrequited love or requited love. You want the equal exchange of love. You want that balance. You don't want this person chasing you down. What are you doing? Where are you going? I feel like that's kind of what it was. I think it was just smothering or it was too much. Yeah, you want that leveling up. You want that happily ever after, you know? I feel like you want that, like, happily ever after. And you weren't feeling it with this person. It was codependent or just too much. Yeah, you're you're running away. They're chasing you and you're running. You got your boots on or your, your running shoes, your sneakers, your kicks. You're running. And they're following you, though. That's <laughs> Like, you're running away, and they're running after you. That could be why you blocked them. Th their energy feels very um, strong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it just feels, uh, I can't breathe. Like, I just want to breathe. I just want to go to work and not have 20 missed text messages or go out with my friends and not feel like I'm doing something wrong or... You know what I mean? So I feel like you're just like, this isn't, no. I want genuine. I want real. I want trust. I want that independence. Um, so I feel like that's that's where you're at. What are the biggest obstacles here? Here are the world. Something coming full circle. Patience. Control intensity. See? It's intense. 
you were trying to be patient with this person, but they, they were just coming on real strong. You had to close out the cycle. So overcoming that, that it was, I feel like it was just too much. It was just too, too much. I don't know if I should continue on. I want to look into who's coming towards you. Um, but let me just get a couple messages here with this. Date. Yeah. Courting, dating, meetup, anniversary, divine intervention. You were just dating this person. I don't think you owe this person anything. I don't think it went to any kind of like deep level. I feel like it was a short, we were dating, hung out, and this person just... It was like you were in a, a marriage almost after like two months. You know what I mean? Something, this person was moving a lot faster than you. Divine intervention, serendipity, catalyst, karma. So yeah, this kind of came burning down, crashing down the truth. Because you saw things clearly. Those red flags were all waving. <laughs> all right, let's get some zodiac signs of who you could be dealing with. Could be any sign, you guys. Place it where you see fit. Um, we have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. Numbers could be angel numbers, date of birth. Um, something meaningful. 8842. An age, an angel number. So 24889. So it could be 24. 4, 42, 82, 28, 92, 29, 49, 48. Play around the numbers. 2, 4, 8, 9. Um, angel number 88. You could be seeing 8s a lot. I did have 8, 8 for your beginning angel numbers too. February, April, August, September. Let's get some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. I have F, M, R, D, V, Z, L, K, A, J, G, H is showing up at me. A, J, G, H. K, M, F, R, D, V, Z, L. All right, so that could be the initials there. Um, again, place it where you see fit. Now let's dive into who is coming towards you in love. Right, Leo, who is coming towards you in love? Is the new person who's coming towards Leo? Who is coming towards you? Ten of Pentacles. So it could be long term commitment, family dynamics, stability. Could be a um, like a blended family. If you have children, they may have children. They could have been married and got divorced. I feel like they're actually divorced, though. Not going through a divorce, they are actually divorced. Or separated, single, whatever. They're they're ready for a new beginning in love. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Who's coming towards Leo in love? Oh, they're honest and truthful. Oh, you've been waiting for this type of person here. I don't think they have like secrets. I feel like there are an open book. They could tell you about their troubles, things that they just went through, their hard times, things like that. I feel like this person is like kind of like way too honest, but there's three aces here and then bottom of the deck, we have leveling up. I feel like there's attraction, passion, desire, chemistry, truth, clarity, victory and success, ace of cups. I feel like things are going to move into calmer waters or they are going to be smooth sailing. Um, I don't feel like there's like heavy weight or burdens being held in this connection. I feel like it starts off very good, very genuine. Uh, there's some drama with an Aquarius though. So even though they could be divorced or, or single, I feel like there could be still drama that they're trying to clear up. Again, I feel like this person is some kind of an open book. I don't think they're going to keep secrets. I don't think they're going to lie to you or hide the truth or sugarcoat things. I feel like this person has a genuine energy. I feel like there is chemistry and I feel like it is going to move slow and steady and in the right way. I do feel like it's a wish fulfillment. This person is single, so you're not going to find them in a commitment, in a marriage, in, in that 
that situation. This person is single, but it's, I feel like a newly single, you know what I mean? Um, where they still have some drama drama that they're trying to finalize, clear up. So, but I feel like they're going to tell you all about it. And I feel like that's okay because they're going to, they're going to be honest with you. This is what, this is what I'm dealing with, you know? Um, so let's see, is there anything that's going to interfere or block this connection? Healing. Let's see, they're still kind of healing. They're going through just frustration, drama. But they're going to be truthful. You got to be able to appreciate someone who tells the truth. You know what I mean? Not everybody's life is perfect. And if they're going to be open and honest, I mean, if you don't like their truth, you don't, you don't have to stick around. You have free will. You can do what you want, you know? But I feel like I give this person credit for being open and truthful anyway, because I feel like they are dealing with something that is over, but it's still present in their energy. It's still being dealt with. Um, I feel like there might be times where you get a little confused with this person's energy because they may kind of go quiet, things go good, and then they go quiet. So you could have like that, like, oh, do, are they really into me? Do they really want this? Why aren't they reaching out? Why aren't they responding? They could just be busy working. Or if they have kids, they could be spending time with their kids. It could be something like that. But again, I'm seeing pretty genuine energy here. How is this person going to feel about you? They're going to want to level up. They feel a strong connection. Twin flame, soulmate, the chariot. Yeah, forward movement, strength, confidence, courage. They could actually feel like this is really strong. They see you as fun, flirty, outgoing, spontaneous, adventurous. They hope that you can be patient with them. They, they are hoping that you can be patient with them. They feel like you're on the same page. This is worth building on. They feel like it's a manifestation after a painful ending. Divine timing or the timing is right. They are a wounded warrior. So again, they have that. So they want to take it slow, which is good because if you resonate with what I just read, <laughs> that person did not want to take it slow. So if it is kind of going from that reading into this new love reading, for those of you that resonated, I feel like this is a change of pace. This is kind of more of what you were looking for. You know, yeah, they have some stuff, but the, they're open and honest with you, which is good because then you can trust them. So if they do kind of pull their energy back or take a day to themselves and not feel like being social or not feel like going out or whatever, I feel like they're just going to be honest and say, look, I'm exhausted. I had a day. I, I just, I just want to spend time by myself. You know, I, I don't know. I'm getting good, good vibes from this energy. So let's see, what would the obstacles be in this? Awareness, creativity, aloneness. So again, you might feel a little bit left out or a little bit alone. It's new. It's a new connection. You know, you're excited. Maybe you want to go out and see them because things are clicking. Chemistry's there. And maybe there's days where they just don't feel like it. So that could be an obstacle here. But I feel like you have an awareness because they're telling you the truth. You know, so it's like, all right, well, I mean, it sucks, but I understand it is what it is. All right. Let's see. Personality traits of this person. Personality traits. Shy, quiet, and reserved. Exactly. They need that time, but they're down to earth. So animal and pet lover. So I feel like they love animals. They may have some animals. Um, if you're looking for like the, the masculine male energy, facial hair, short hair, Awesome sense of humor. So they're shy, quiet, and reserved, but they are funny. They're also down to earth, so they're not intense. Um, they have children and a perfect smile. They could be kind of shorter on the shorter side. Um, 
So those are some personality traits for this person. How do you meet them? How does Leo meet this person? This one wanted to come out too. Emergency situation or a children's event. So emergency situation could just be like something kind of happening quick or going wrong or something. It could even be they work um, in an emergency service, all right? Children's event at a party. So yeah, it's some kind of social gathering. Um, a family or um, family member or friend may also know them. So there's like, oh, this person knows that person. So some kind of like an acquaintance mixed in there. So what does this person do for work? What does this person do? They're a healer. See, emergency situation. They could be a healer. They may travel a lot too for some things. For some of you, yeah. So we have like utility worker, social worker, healer, and something with travel. Teacher. See, they're, they have some, some kind of that kind of a, a connection, some kind of a healer. So whether they're like an EMT or work for the law enforcement or doctor, nurse, something like that. Um, so let's see. So what's the outcome going to be here? hearing that song take me home tonight by eddie money i feel like now you're you're kind of like i, I want to see you more i want to be around you more like the energy vibes you know um you could work together for some of you i'm just throwing that out there take it if it fits if not no worries i feel like you're going to be putting in work and effort into this connection you could even be planning a trip or travel in the near future it flows Burdens. I'm not walking away, but you could question whether you and this person are on the same page at times, or should I continue to build on this? Is this really real? Strength, confidence, courage. Okay, Ace of Cups intuition not holding back not single this is going to turn into something this is going to end up being a relationship here yeah oh even possibly commitment could be a water sign scorpio cancer pisces it's different this this connection is going to be different than what you're used to this is a genuine connection you guys it's it seems real all right, I'll get some numbers. Could be their birthday, age, angel number. Again, place it where you see fit. Three, four, eight, twelve. So it could be March, April, August, or December. 34, 43, 83, 38, 48, 84, 12. Play around with it. Uh, March, April, August, or December. Zodiac signs that they could be. Or you could meet them during that season, like Leo uh, season, for instance. All right, we have Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, and Leo. Could be any sign. Don't hold me to it. It could be strong placements in their charts. It could be their moon sign, their rising sign. Again, you could meet them during that season. So don't stay stuck on one, one part of that. So what could their initials be or their name? See, I don't want to pull too, too many here. I, Z, K, L, M, W, N, C, and J. K, L, Z, I, M, W, C, N, J. V and Q are staring at me from the jar, but I know you guys are probably saying, well, when am I going to meet this person? It's a general collective reading. Not everybody's on the same timeline, so I'm going to do an approximate time. Again, don't hold me to it because time is fluid, and not everybody's on the same timeline. So, all right, May.
and September. So some of you can meet this person in May, September, and now. So some of you could have already met this person. Again, we're not on the same timeline, but I do feel like it will be this year, if that helps you out. Sometime this year, in 2024. All right. Um, Leo, that is what I have for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.